Playing music with the TO app is easy. If you have a full TO system set up, just launch the TO Home app, navigate to the space you want to play music in, and press the music icon. But if you have a standalone system, download and launch the TO Music app. Your connected streamers will be listed on the Devices page for you to click on. Before loading the music page for the selected streamer, you'll be presented with the Google Terms of Service to be accepted if it's not already been. You'll find your music sources listed on this page. After choosing your source, simply navigate through the menus to find what you're looking for. After selecting a song or internet radio station, the song information gets displayed on the player view. At the bottom, you have your pause play controls, and just below those controls, you'll find your volume slider. Next to the volume slider, there's also a mute button. If you're using the app on your phone, you'll be presented with the option to control your current audio playing on the mini player view, which will show up at the bottom of the screen after selecting a song or internet radio station. You'll also have the ability to switch between the mini player and player views. Premium services such as Tidal, Deezer, Napster, and more can be added to your TO system on the music page by selecting the desired music service. Just enter in the music account credentials as prompted and click the login button. Upon successful login, you'll now be able to browse your premium service. You can log out of your premium service at any time by clicking on the logout button available on the home menu. StreamShare is the ability to connect multiple streamers together and play the same music in more than one space with less than a 10 millisecond cumulative delay. The StreamShare button is visible on the music page in the top navigation bar. Just press this button and the StreamShare menu will pop up, allowing you to add your streamers and independently control their volumes. Stream sharing is disabled when playing AirPlay and Chromecast built-in audio. Upon navigating to the following streamer music page, the music service's browsing is disabled and the volume control for this streamer continues to be accessible on the player view. To unfollow, click on the Stream Share icon and then on the Go Solo button on the pop-up. TO Audio Elements have Apple AirPlay built in. It's important to know that AirPlay can only be used from compatible Apple iOS devices. If you're using your TO Audio Elements in standalone mode, they'll show up automatically in your AirPlay list. If you have a full TO system, please follow these steps. To use Apple AirPlay, connect directly to the MC by using the password visible in the System Settings page. The name of the MC's network will start with TO. Just copy and paste this password in order to connect. Once you're connected directly to the MC, all the available audio elements will show up in your AirPlay list. TO Audio Elements have Chromecast built in. If you're using your TO Audio Elements in standalone mode, they'll show up automatically in your Chromecast built-in compatible app. If you have a full TO system, please follow these steps. To use Chromecast built-in, Connect directly to the MC by using the password visible in the System Settings page. The name of the MC's network will start with TO. Just copy and paste this password to connect. If you're on Android, you can also use WPS to connect by navigating to your Wi-Fi settings and finding the WPS Push Button option. Press the WPS Push Button option and, within two minutes, press and hold the button labeled WPS on the MC until the power light begins flashing rapidly. Once you're connected directly to the MC, all the available audio elements will be available to cast to from any compatible app. You can also group your Chromecast-enabled audio elements to play the same song in every room. From your iPhone or Android device, open the Google Home app. Click on the icon on the top right corner and then tap the Devices card menu and select Create Group. Enter a name for the group, select Speakers to include, and press Save. If you don't see your audio elements show up in your AirPlay list or available for casting, please contact TO Technical Support for them to be replaced. TO Audio Elements have Spotify Connect. If you're using your TO Audio Elements in standalone mode, they'll show up automatically in your Spotify devices list. 
To use Spotify Connect, make sure you're connected to your home network or the MC's network. All the available audio elements will be visible in the Spotify app in the devices list. After connecting the initial time, Spotify will remember your devices and will allow you to play your music from any network with internet access. To access the music settings for your streamer, click on the Settings option available at the bottom of the Music Sources list on the Music page. Here, you have the option to readjust the default volume of your audio to any level ranging between 0 to 100. You can also rename your streamer at any time by just clicking on the device name setting. If you wish to connect your streamer over Wi-Fi while on a standalone system, click on the Wireless Setup setting and choose your method of convenience for the setup. Once the wireless network information is registered correctly, just unplug the Ethernet cable connecting your streamer and home router. At any point, if you wish to re-enter your wireless information and reset up your streamer on Wi-Fi, just plug back your streamer to your home router and redo the steps. Please be advised that if you have a full TO system, you can just unplug the Ethernet cable running from the MC to your streamer, and this will automatically connect the streamer over Wi-Fi for you without having to enter in your wireless network information. You can modify your streamer's Chromecast built-in privacy settings, such as whether it sends usage data and crash reports to Google, by selecting the Chromecast built-in settings and clicking on the Usage Report option. Please ensure to set your current location time zone by clicking on the time zone setting and selecting your country and region, which will be required during a system update. If you wish to reboot your streamer through the app, just click on the Reboot setting, which will start the reboot process indicated by a blinking blue LED light on the front of your streamer. Wait until the LED light turns green, right after which it will turn off, indicating a successful reconnection. You'll be required to reload your music page on the app after a reboot.